All right, so here's how I collected $1,600 in two days. So first on Monday, I bought 100 shares of Bristol Myers at $50. And, I, and then I sold the call option at a $50 strike price, collected $228, expiring March 15. So by March 15, most likely Bristol Myers will be above 50. If that's the case, my shares will get called away, but I keep the $228, which minus fees divided by the $5,000 investment, is 3.7% in one month. And then Morgan Stanley, same thing, about 100 shares at 40.44. And I sold the call option expiring March 15 at a 41 strike price. And I collected $103. So in this case, if my shares get called away, I would collect 103 plus the difference of 41 and the purchase price. So an extra 66 cents or $66 minus 41 in fees divided by the initial investment of 4044 so that's 3.1 percent in one month and as well did the same thing with amd bought 100 shares at 22.97 sold the 23 call option strike price at a dollar 50 so collected 150 dollars minus the 41 fees divided by 22.97 invested so that's 4.7 percent in one month as well so this I did on Monday and then on Tuesday, I used this site here. Link is in the description below. It's a covered call screener, gives you trades that have profitable call premiums or interesting call premiums. So I used this site to get the following trades, IMGN and PTI. So these are companies I'm not fully aware of. So to be honest, this is not an investment. This was sort of risky. It's more of a trade. But Yahoo Finance and most analysts give these two companies a buy rating and a very high tar target price. So Yahoo Finance gives it a 1.8 buy rating, so which, which is pretty good. So it's in the uh, healthcare sector. It's actually losing money. Pharmaceutical industry, it's actually losing money right now, as you can see. But this is normal for pharmaceuticals while they prepare their drugs. But it could go either way. They could either It could either bounce up like crazy or it could go to zero but the one-year target price according to yahoo finance is 13.8 while it's trading at 3.75 so it's risky i don't know anything about the business but I, I use this covered call screener to to get these stocks and they ended up being really high payouts so for example for pti i bought initially i bought 400 shares at four dollars and i sold call options at a three dollar strike price so a strike price lower than my purchase price because I want to make sure that my shares get sold and I want to give myself downside protection. So if come March 15, if PTI is trading above $3, my shares will get called away at $3, but that's what I want. I don't want to keep this because I don't even know what it is. I don't trust it. So I want to get rid of it, but I want to take the, the call premiums. So I sold it at $1.65 initially. So 400 shares, so $1.65 minus the one dollar difference between the purchase price and the strike price so minus one dollar got 65 cents left times 400 shares 260 dollars now divided by the investment of it was 400 shares at four dollars so divided by 1600 that's 16 percent in one month with covered calls and deep in the money covered calls as well so that's pretty good and then when i did that because I collected $660 from selling the call premiums, I had enough money to, to do it again. So I was able to take my call premiums that I collected to buy more PTI again. So I bought 200 more shares doing the same thing. So I bought it at 3.97 this time, and I sold it as well at 1.65. So I collected $660 the first time, and I collected $330 the second time on a 2200 investment about, or 2400 yeah, four times six, 2,400. But of course, a dollar, six hundred dollars of this will go back when my shares get called away at three dollars. If PTI is trading below three dollars at March 15, but that would mean that the stock needs to drop 25 or 30 percent between now and March 15. If that's the case, I'm going to keep the full premium. I'm going to give, I'm going to keep the 330 plus the 660 dollars. Gonna, but I'm going to have shares that are down almost 25 percent. But I could sell call premiums again the next month but i'm hoping my shares get called away because this is not a stock i want to keep long term so this was a trade 16 percent profit in one month 
on PTI that I got from this site here. Link will be below. And then also from the same site, I got this stock here, IMGN. So it's also in the pharmaceutical industry. This actually dropped hard in the same day that I bought it. It also has a one-year target price pretty high, 14.6. It's trading at 5.36. It's also losing money, as you can see here, but it's got a pretty high buy rating. So I didn't make my I didn't do any research on this company. It's really just it was it was a risky trade. But basically I went with the bet that in one month, what are the chances that it goes to zero? Plus I didn't put much in it, about two thousand. So yeah, so I bought 400, first of all, I bought, I started off with buying 300 shares of, of IMGN at 575. And then I sold three call options or contracts at $1.65. So collected 495. So I collected 495 on a about $1,700 investment. I bought at 575, but I sold the $5 strike price. So from the 165, we have to remove 75 cents because that's the difference between my purchase price and the strike price. So I'm left with 90 cents times 300 shares. So $270 profit divided by my investment of 300, 300 shares times 5.75. So that's a profit or a return of 15% in one month. And that's with an in the money call option, meaning I'm trying to increase my chances of getting the shares called away from me automatically by t picking a strike price that's lower than my purchase price. So I want my shares to get called away. But the same day I bought at 575, it dropped 7% and it's trading at 536 now. So come come March 15, if the stock is trading below five, I'm gonna keep the stock and keep all the call premiums. If it trades above five, I'm gonna lose my shares at a loss, but my call premiums compensate for the loss plus a little bit more to be exact 15% more in one month. So that I'm very happy with that, of course. But of course, it's very risky because I know nothing about the company and it could go either way, but I didn't put much in it. And then when I did that, I collected enough call premiums to do it again. So I bought 100 more shares at 5.6 and I sold it at 1.5. So in total, I collected 150 plus 495, but 75 cents times 400 shares of that will get called, will get will get deducted if my shares get called away at five. So minus 400 times 0.75 minus the fees of $44 divided by the investment of five point, let's say 5.72 times 400. So that's 13% profit in one month, even if my shares get called away at, at a loss, which is what I want. And for PTI, same thing. I think it's about 11% or 16% after fees. So it's 330 plus 660, so 330 plus 660 minus the 600 from getting my shares called away at a lower price. So I'm left with 390 minus the fees of $46 divided by the investment of, so four times 600 shares, 2,400. So that's 14% in one month with a in the money call option if my shares get called away at three dollars and most likely it will because the stock right now is trading at 3.75 it's got a 52 week range of 1.71 to 10.38 it's got a one-year target price of 13.8 so most likely it's going to be trading above three dollars come march 15 so my shares will get called away and i'll keep i'll keep the difference so of course i'm not going to be doing that with my full portfolio because it's very risky but if i could do it with a little bit of my portfolio making 10 to 15 percent per month on a consistent basis so it's important cons the word consistent here is important not just to do it once but to do it consistently and then with the rest of my portfolio do it with uh, obviously stocks that i don't mind holding on to forever so more quality stocks like bristol myers morgan stanley amd so yeah i just want to share with you how i collected 1600 dollars canadian in two days just by selling call premiums and this these call premiums that I'm collecting, I'm getting it up front. I don't have to wait a month to get it. I'm getting it up front to do other stuff with it, to buy more shares if I want. And I got these stock tips from this site here, Born to Sell. I've got a referral link in the description below the video. So yeah, if you have any questions, keep leaving them in the comment section below. Like always, if you can open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below the video to get up to $250, depending on your deposit. Thanks for watching.